a couple comments. Uh, just really happy on the win. Uh, it was a great win for our football team against a really good uh, rival. And uh, to be 1-0 in the conference gives us momentum. That was our goal. Felt like our guys really came fired up, ready to play. Uh, we talked for two weeks about having passion, having juice. About, you know, we knew we were going to be on the road and we were going to have to create that for ourselves. And uh, it was definitely a, a tough game. We knew it was going to come all the way down to the end. But uh, just proud of our guys for the resiliency they had and, and new guys stepping up and making plays when we needed them to be made. So that said, questions. Donald with the Daily News. I know you just mentioned that energy, that juice. Defensively, you guys brought it from the start, I believe, five tackles for loss in the first quarter. How important was that to, to setting the tone in this one? It was huge. I mean, it, 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 to me, on the sidelines, it just reconfirmed what we were last season, you know, and just having the feeling of, okay, our, our defense is, is coming to play and, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna be okay. You know, they're going to be in control of the game. And, um, you know, and, and offensively, I, you know, you could say slow start or whatever, but it was an uphill battle. I mean, we, you know, they did a nice job defensively. And I felt like offensively we earned every yard we made at the end of the day. But, you know, just to have that security factor, knowing that your defense is always going to be there pulling you through, um, and let me say this about our offense. I, I, that last drive to score to go up to 20 was one of the better drives that I've been a part of. I thought Coach Ellis did an unbelievable job, uh, converted on a fourth down, made some critical calls, really good calls when we needed them. Uh, so really, really proud of when, our, when we needed it the most, the offense came through. And then, you know, I can't say enough about the defense. Coach Matthew Hargrove here with the College Heights Herald. Talking about that last drive, just talk about how impressed you were with Jakari Moses. He had 36 yards on that last touchdown drive. Yeah, I, you know, we had, uh, we had been going with Gage and uh, C.J. Jones. They had done a nice job. Um, I just felt like we needed a little bit of a spark. You know, we needed, we needed something in the run game. And, and Jakari has always kind of been that guy where, you know, you can plug him in and – you know, he gives you that spark. And he went out there and, and did that tonight. He's the one that really got the drive started for us, kept the drive alive. Um, and that was awesome to see, you know, when he got his opportunity, he made the most of it. Same thing with Xavier Lane tonight. Same thing with Dayton Wade tonight. Uh, so it was great to see all those guys step up. And for the game in general, can you just talk about as well as how impressed you were with the wide receiver crew? Yeah, very, very impressed. Made some critical catches, some tough catches, a lot of contested catches, um, you know, just in, in critical downs when we needed them. You know, the only thing I would say that I felt like as an offense we got to continue, I felt, I felt like we threw it down the field multiple times tonight, uh, but we didn't connect like we wanted to. And so we got we to gotta connect on those down the field throws, you know, but – um, it was good to, to press that issue. I think it really helped us throwing the ball down the field. As you guys saw, we had a lot of comebacks that we completed tonight. It softened the coverage so that we could, you know, throw those outside balls and throw those comebacks. And so, again, I thought Coach Ellis did a nice job of mixing all that up tonight in, in the play call. Follow up off of that, I know you had talked a lot about uh, Xavier Lane and Dayton Wade. Um, really since the start of camp, and when you really needed them, they stepped up, had two-thirds of your catches tonight, 14 total combined. Did you expect them to step up to this extent? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I mean, you never know what's going to happen, but, you know, all you can do is make an evaluation off of what you see in practice, and that and that's how they've been in practice. And, um, you know, it's very competitive out there in the receiver position, and you know, a guy like Xavier and Dayton Wade, they've, they've had to kind of wait and be patient. And, and it's just pr I'm proud to see that they made the most of their opportunity. And uh, hopefully they can continue to, you know, just keep on making those plays and getting better and better. Uh, well, a lot of talk goes into the offense and the defense, but three phases of the game, special teams, you know, Braden comes out, hits a couple of field goals, and then D'Angelo has the big block, um, which could have been the difference as well, you know. How much pride do you guys take in, in a phase of the game that might often get overlooked? Well, 
first of all, I feel awful because I should have been praising the special teams to begin with. Um, you know, our special teams coordinator, Andy LaRusso, does an unbelievable job. You think back tonight, you get the block field goal. Uh, that was huge. Uh, you know, our field goal kicker, Braden, comes in with huge kicks. I mean, the clock almost runs out on the 52-yarder that he kicks. You know, we had to hurry up, run out there. He didn't have much time to get set. And he knocked it down the pipe. And so, you know, just a lot of guys that stepped up when their number was called. And uh, special teams was, was a critical, critical factor. We, you might have saw us. We did a lot of fair catching on kick return tonight. And part of that was I, I, we needed to give our offense a really good field position. I, I felt like. It's not that we can't go break a, a kick return or something like that, but I did not want to risk a holding call or something. And I and I knew that you know we needed to we needed to have good drive starts with good field position, and um, so that's why you saw that. But special teams wise, it was outstanding.